This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and William Hill. Delighted for the first time to be joined with Master of Knowledge, Mr. Spencer Fearon. How's things, mate? How are we? Hey, dear Lewis. All the better for speaking to you, my friend. I appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, obviously, I mean, we'll jump straight into it. Um, yesterday, I mean, this week we should have been looking forward to a massive fight, a massive rematch between Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. But unfortunately, um, that won't be the case anymore. Dillian White has had an adverse finding, adverse finding in, a, in a drug test. Um, I suppose we'll start with that. What was your initial thoughts when you heard that? Um, my initial thoughts was, oh, no, nah, come on, please. I beg not, please. I mean, <laughs> not again. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been there before. Um, yeah. So, yeah, um, I hope that Dillian White is... Uh, is innocent and can prove he's innocent and then uh, and then resume his career because if he's not the book will be thrown at him and and with everything that's happening in boxing right now he will be the one that will be made an, an example of they'll make an example of him so you know I pray that <clears throat> he's uh, he's innocent but seeing something like this happen again what was it? Um, it was like well, Lionel Richie once, twice, three times. You're guilty. You know what I mean? So yeah. let's hope that he's innocent. But you know, it's not. It's not a good thing. And especially coming off of what's happened recently with Conor Ben, yeah. um, I know the board of control uh, will absolutely, if found guilty, throw the book at him. Absolutely throw the book at him. So let's hope that he's innocent. Hundred percent, and I think when we when we look at you think about the the weeks we were having of boxing of how, of how good things were going. We had Spence Crawford, we had Inoue Fulton, so many fights getting made, and it was in a really good place. But obviously, you know, good things don't always last for a long time. So when we hear things, it's it's just disappointing to hear. I know we don't know the full story yet. We don't even know what he's been sort of testing for. He's sort of proving he's trying to say that he's innocent. Um, but is it sort of disappointing to just be in this situation yet again? Um. Obviously, but if you read his statement, which he, he, he let out, he said like he um volunteered for the to 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 be tested, right? And paid out of his own pocket. And for him to do that, that's not cheap. That's thousands and thousands, that's maybe thirty grand, right? So these are the things that will raise doubt or speculation to think, oh, why would you do that then if that's the case? But you know, like I said in height of everything that's happened of recent times, um, what Matchroom have done by releasing their statement straight away, they've yeah. got the experience now of dealing with uh, what happened with Conor Ben, and now are saying, like, listen, you know what? We're not going to make those mistakes again because we should have done this, we should have done that. So they've got hindsight's a great thing. And now Dylan, Dylan White's case is the practice of hindsight. So that's what's happening right now. And literally, that's funny you said that because I was literally just going to get onto that point. And, and I was, I've, I've done a few interviews this weekend talking about it. And I say, when you look at the whole situation that happened with Conor Ben and how it was handled, what's foregone after these sort of, you know, 10 months since it happened, do you think that everyone's almost learned in a way? And maybe people are a little bit more more careful in how they act and certain things. Like everyone's learned in a way from that situation? Every, every, everybody has. Everybody has. Um, and also what, ha what, what happens is everybody should be more reserved in, in in dealing with something like this, you know? Um, and like I said, I pray that Dylan White is innocent. I pray that this is all... Um, but, you know, uh, it's crazy. Because if he is guilty, that's the end of his career. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's up in ages right now. He's already challenged for a world title. Um, he, he He's accomplished a lot. But um, what will happen now is that you will see how parties who were surrounded, who are surrounding Dylan White, will easily readjust themselves and try and uh, walk away from him, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and you say that there and you said about the sort of the Lionel Richie thing of, of once, twice, three times. And obviously now this is the third time that there's been 
PD surrounded about Dillian White, where we had the thing with Oscar Rivas and even at the start of his career. So do you think people could naturally come to a conclusion anyway when there's already been sort of speculations and there's already sort of been past history of PDs with White? So I didn't, I didn't quite get that there, Louis. What did you say? So I'm saying, do you think people could be quick to jump to conclusions and pe- people will be quick to assume things with, with Dillian having the, 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 the previous history, well, not previous history of PDs, but previous sort of speculation when he had the stuff of Oscar Rivas and um, previously in his career when he sort of, uh, yeah. Um, that is a, that's a rhetorical question, isn't it? Because everybody will think that he's going to be guilty. Let's be real. Everybody will think that Dillian White is guilty. They're gonna sit down and say, "Yep, yeah, he's going. He's going." Just, just imagine. I'm, I'm, I've been on two murder cases and I beat the case, right? And now I'm on a third murder case, and they're thinking the jury's gonna think, "Oh, well, did he, maybe he's a killer? Maybe." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean that's that's you know what I mean, but you know you'll get the real full breakdown, Louis, later on on the fight is right with me and Sundi Ajay on our YouTube channel. We'll get the real gritty breakdown I spoke to quite a few people already it's like man like like yesterday my phone just blew up from when it was announced right and like Tundi sent me Tundi sent me the, the, the message and then I looked at my phone and I had like 32 messages <laughs> and then everybody was following my phone I'm saying why is everyone following me I don't, I don't know I don't know I don't know I mean this is new to me as well um, yeah. this is but you know what I'm going to be real I mean um Dylan White's good people. You know I mean, my experience with Dylan has been, I've known him since he's been a teenager. And I, like I said, I just hope and pray that he hasn't taken anything stupid or done anything stupid. Because what happened last time out with the Rebass thing, I went to bat for him hard. And I know I paid the price for it. I paid the price for that. Like, we're not getting my contract renewed at Sky. Not, I paid the price. Do you know what I mean? Well, that was one of the, they had a bag of things that they had listed. Yeah, right? Of so, Right, but that was one of them. Oh, that was libelous. And I said, yeah, allegedly, I spoke allegedly, but what's said is done. But that's because if you're my guy, I'm going to back for you. I'm going to go back for you hard, right? When everybody was turning their back on him and all the rest of it and blah. And fair play, Dylan hasn't forgot that. But what I'm saying is, now Dylan White will realise who his friends are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right now, he'll realise. He'll realise who's got his back. He'll realise who's already. He'll got to realise. Do you know what I mean? Similarly to, to Conor Ben, when Conor mm-hmm. Ben realised right, who had his back, and who, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, who 100%. Was there for him? Fair play to Conor, he sent me a, a really nice appreciation message, right? But at times like this, this is where you're going to find out. And unfortunately, it's not you are you are innocent until proven guilty. You are guilty until you can prove that you're innocent. And this is just how it goes. And this is public consensus, general consensus as well. And we're going to see what's going to happen from there. But if he is guilty and if he has been found with something and he has deliberately cheated, then he should lose his license and be banned for life. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's, that's me speaking about my brethren because I understand when you're in this fight game and when you are fighting, you are trying to render a man's unconscious for 10 or more seconds. Now, if you're cheating to do this, or you're taking something that will enhance you to do this, then you should be banned for life. I don't care if you're my friend or my foe, or we are slightly impartial, you should be banned for life. And uh, I mean, most people would uh, absolutely, I mean, everyone would agree with you there. And it's funny that you said, it's, it's something you sort of, remo- you, what you're saying there about um, the people being around him, and, and especially with Conor Ben, it's an interesting thing you mentioned that, because especially now where we see the, how the situation with Conor Ben's come to light, it must be important for us to sort of go on to that point. It must be important that he remembers who the people were around him, especially in sort of times like this, and Dillian will be the same, that you have to remember the people that were real around you. I suppose that's a, that must be an important thing for him, would you say? For Dylan, Would yeah, it be important? Point, yeah, of course, absolutely, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see, innit? Yeah, mate, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see. Like I said, I've known Dylan for a very, very long time. But what I do know is this. There was a lot of people that were phoning me that were actually glad that this has come out for Dylan White. Wow. And I, I was kind of astonished, but there was a lot of people that were glad. Mm. Yeah, I mean, obviously we saw last, last yesterday, last night, 
David Hay coming out and saying that Derek Chisora told him that Dillian White was going to test positive for PD. So, I mean, when we hear things like this, that must be sort of a, a bit of a crazy thing to hear as well. Uh, yeah, but you know what? Um, let's just just to say, how comes it was just miraculously just a few days ago that Derek Chisora was brought onto the card to fight Gerald Washington? Right, I was in camp with Derek when Derek was preparing to 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 fight Tyson Fury, um, and Joe Washington was one of the sparring partners for um, for Derek. You know what I mean? So you know, it's their mates. Yeah. All right, That's... but it was good that right then all of a sudden them two are fighting each other, and then wow, Dylan White, Dylan White's off the card, and again now wow. Derek Cesaro, he's, he's been fit, he's in shape, he's been training down at London Shrew Fighters. Uh, well, we'll slip him in there. I mean, that goes on to a question where do you think we could potentially be seeing... Mad, mad coincidence, mad coincidence. I mean, and it could all just be a... I'm just saying, you know what I mean? I like to play God's advocate because there's no devils around there. So I'm saying, well, you know what I mean? what's going on? Well, move. I mean, with that, do you think then one could be sort of linked to AJ then as an opponent? Um, more than likely because he's he's also under 258 management right but it's whether the zone because they're the paymasters is whether the zone will think okay then we're going to go and sell that fight I, I, you know what in the end of the day it's like anti Joshua is not world heavyweight champion right he's still got a pull but his pull isn't the pull of two years ago his pull isn't the pull of five years ago it was absolutely ridiculous he's still got a pull he's got a great great pull but it's not the same pull as what he had Right, so would people be interested in it? Um, what I do know is that one thing I do know for sure is that if they if did if Chisora was to get that fight, he'd probably try and give it to Anthony Joshua. Yeah, it wouldn't be no mates thing or like I'm gonna take it easy with you. No, he'd probably try and give it to him, really give it to him because that's his only option. And whereas Anthony Joshua isn't as mobile as Tyson Fury. Anti Joshua could get hit for a little while. I mean, so what I do know is that th that fight could go four rounds max, but it'd be guns blazing. I'd be, it'd be entertaining. It would be entertaining, but I wouldn't. I would not pay for it, but I would go and see it. It's one of them ones. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, do you think if it was Chizora, then they'd, with the, the public bash that Tyson Fury got, do you think Anthony Joshua could get the same public backlash if it ends up being no, Chizora? Because Tyson Fury is is, is is WBC and claims to be lineal heavyweight champion. Yeah, yeah. So, no. But I rate what Tyson Fury did because, you know, he gave his he gave his 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 friend a payday and he still beat him up and he put on a, a masterclass, but he gave his friend a payday. And that's nice. I've got a rate, I've got a salute Tyson Fury for doing that. Yeah, that's completely fair enough. Um, well, I mean, it's good to be, it's been good to chat to you over Zoom. I appreciate you taking the time to speak to me. I know you've got something... With Tunday at 8 p.m. Louis, big up everyone at Boxing Social. Now we've got some real people behind it, so salute to Boxing Social. Yeah, I mean, remember, tune in tonight. The fight is right. 8 p.m. Myself, Baba Tundi Ajayi, will be breaking down this whole thing. Uh, and we most probably be talking to the parties in question. So peace, two fingers. Louis, big up yourself, yeah? Love. Top man, bro. I'll be linking that in the description. So, yeah, I'll definitely be tuning in later on tonight. So I appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, man. Thank you, sir.